everyone, it's Andrea here again and today I'm going to do one of those videos that's been going around booktube which is how I read so much, okay? I don't read as much as some people but I read more than a lot of other people because we're in March and I have so far read, finished 48 books off of my Goodreads challenge. So that's since January the 1st I've finished 48 books. So uh, at this pace I'm going to probably finish my Goodreads challenge in September. Well, there we go. I don't mind. I'm enjoying the reading. So how do I read so much? Okay, number one. I read more than one book in one go. I have more than one book on the go at any one time. I always have one fiction book. Currently, it's this one. The Empty Glass by T.I. Baker, which we pulled out of my TBR jar. They're books that have been sitting around for more than a year. So that's my fiction book. I also have, always have a non-fiction book on the go as well because I love my non-fiction and the current one that I'm reading is Lizzie Siddle, The Tragedy of a Pre-Raphaelite Supermodel by Lucinda Hawksley. So this is a thin, thin one. Um, so yeah, I do love good, non I love non-fiction so I always have a non-fiction book. I also have a, a short story collection on the go which I don't have with me right now so I'll put a picture of it up here because uh, I like to read a short story even now. And these are really short stories, so I suppose they would be termed flash fiction. I don't get that, but there you go. But they're very short stories. Um, I also have a, a Kindle, so I've always got a Kindle book on the go. And I, I'm current, I also listen to audiobooks. So I'm currently reading a book on the Kindle called The House, which is a net book from NetGalley, so it's not out yet, it's an uncorrected proof. I'm working my way through that. And I've also, I'm also listening to A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Maas on Audible. Number two, I read everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I read my Kindle when I'm at work, when I'm on before I start, and when I'm on my breaks. Obviously not when I'm working, because that would be bad. But so if I, I get in, if I get in 20 minutes early, I'll just sit there and read for a few minutes. On my lunch, I'll read for 10, 15 minutes, and on my 10 minute, 15 minute breaks, I'll read for five minutes. It all chips away at that book. I always, I've always got a book on the go. I also read in bed. I read in bed at night to relax if I'm not watching videos. I listen to audiobooks when I'm colouring. Um, and mostly I do that when my partner's watching the football because I don't like football at all. So I will listen to an audiobook while I'm colouring at the same time so I'm listening to something I can also listen to those in bed or on the train or on a bus if I'm going somewhere on a coach so I've always got a, an audiobook with me I don't watch a lot of television I'm not going to lie I used to when I was a kid but now I don't watch much TV I like I like movies I do like some series but I don't watch a lot of TV there's all these people going on they watch The Walking Dead they watch this they watch Game of Thrones they watch the soaps and um, I don't I used to watch the soaps but I don't watch any of that anymore. I prefer a good documentary or a good, um, I mean something like Call the Midwife, I love, I love it. Um, so yeah, I mean those are my hints and tips for reading. Read where and whenever you can. Have more than one book on the go, even if it's just like a book of poetry and a book of fiction or a book of non-fiction so that you can chop and change between the two when you want to. It was quite confusing because I did have two books on the go which had a main character who had the same name and that was Jessie which was very very confusing but I still got through them. Listen to audiobooks whenever you can. If you've got a Kindle take that with you. If not take a book with you I've done that as well but read wherever when whenever you can. I am not a particularly, I do read quite quickly but I'm not a very, extremely fast reader like Steve Donahue but I do read quickly. There are some times when we're at home we don't even put the TV on at night. We'll just sit there and read, both of us. Other nights we'll sit there and put the TV on and I might read a few pages and I might watch a bit of TV and then I'll read a few more pages. So those are my hints and tips. It's a very short video but the trick is just to read whenever you can. I it's not really about how much you read. I like to read a lot, I can't stop reading. But the fact that you're reading, if it encourages you to read, my, my thoughts are just go and read because reading is absolutely the most amazing thing ever. So that's a very short video for me on how I read so much in a month. I normally average around 20-22 books, I think I'm going to meet but 
past that because I've already read 13 books this month. I will see you soon with another video. Happy reading everybody. Bye!